isn't it, Judith? Did you dye your hair? You did, but Mr. Gotti insisted that I get in touch with you right away. He's pushing the whole film industry to release a statement and make a donation in response to Cray. Of course. Take care and talk to you later then. Help but worry about her sometimes. She's a little too single-minded for her own good. Though I suppose that's why she's the genuine article. Unlike me. Hello? Any news to report? <sighs> I see. So that's where the filming will be taking place. Just as we thought. The only question now is who the final cast will be. You don't have long until the shoot begins, it seems. What will it be? I'll be seeing you. Oh, I've got some fine wares. <laughs> Best come again soon. What are you doing? what you're made of. Activate. 
will address you all at once. One skill I shall have. Boost gauge enhanced. Got you. Getting warmed up. <laughs> Powered up. They you had would just roll over, would they? Well, you aren't putting up much of a fight. Perhaps you ought to consider hanging up the Jaeger's uniform if you cannot act the part. So that you don't misunderstand, we are not the main threat you face here. That is a shame. Your prowess is sorely lacking. Oh. I must apologize. I see I overdid it some. Oh, I did restrain myself. That's a good boy. No trouble caused, no trouble faced. So then. What will the rest of you be doing? I would expect no less from the famed lion. Your strength only seems to have grown since your active days. <laughs> I no longer go by that name, and I would very much appreciate you forgetting it. Thank you for leading me here, Elder. Not at all. That wasn't the only reason I came here. And I'm sure, with circumstances as they are, that I am going to be relying on you significantly in the days to come. I see. It's good to see you all again. I hadn't expected we would meet so soon upon my arrival. Our course of action has been decided, you see. AUS response to currently unfolding events. Indeed, the mists have cleared, and we have exactly the number of pieces that we require. Until the matter has been fully resolved, 
we will also be assuming control of the Blacklight District. That is in accordance with our agreement with this nation's supreme authority. <laughs> it's time you decided your next move. Though I would suggest you listen to what my friend here has to say before doing so. Farewell for now, Aaron. I will be in touch. Yep, this is him, all right. This is how he's always been. He looks normal on the surface, yet everything he does is batshit crazy. Like wandering off with some stupid, dangerous object back when he was younger. <laughs> that certainly brings back memories. Yet I have discarded my past now, and I would ask that you discard it as well. My old greenhorn student, Van. This is Van's former master? The one he said was like a father to him? Um, but wasn't he... I've got more to say than there are stars in the sky. But let me start with this. Why are you still alive when you supposedly died three years ago, Master Barkhorn? Bearguard Zeman, though I was once known by another name. I see you have brought quite a number of fledglings under your wing, Van. Very interesting. That is a very long story. Another time, perhaps. Hard to believe it's already been five years. Even harder to believe you're the same troublemaker I once knew. And that those same words of wisdom would come from your mouth, no less. I see you are living in accordance with your own principles. I'm so sorry for all the trouble I caused you. I'm such an idiot. I just got tunnel vision and let myself get all carried away. Dingo always warned me about this. But look at me. I haven't learned a thing. Well, I ain't gonna tell you not to push the envelope. That's in a reporter's job description. Just make sure you don't forget what Dingo said. Think about what you can do and what you want to do. You'll find a clue on how to move forward in the gap between the two. of a contribution I'll be able to make, but I'll start being more mindful of my cans and wants, and I'll do it while finding a way to move forward.
Once again, that name is no longer mine. I would ask that you keep that in mind. Bullseye. I happen to be acquainted with all of them, including the Grand Prince of Elsheim and Elder Guillen. The former president was anxious to make your acquaintance, and I believe meeting him would prove to be beneficial for your future. Though it pains me that a well-intentioned invitation coincided with such a horrific tragedy. Before I answer, I should note that you were not the only one in the dark. I did not reach out to my other students either, and I never intended to do so. I wanted you all to walk your own paths, and I intended to leave my survival a secret, a trump card that I could pull out in the wake of a crisis. Correct. I have news regarding the Mafia Almada and the assassins of the Gardens. Their whereabouts were discovered several hours ago. Almada's leader and executives, as well as the Gardens' overseers, have established a new base, and it is located in a city within this very country. What's more, that information has been passed around to all the major players in this nation. Yes, I imagine they are all preparing to take action at this very moment. This country's supreme authority is no exception. They have resolved to quell the unfolding chaos. And they will do so by any means necessary, even if that involves fighting one evil with another. As it stands, I am effectively dead. If the people of my former home decide to act, I will not join them, nor stand in their way. However, now that the gift of life has been bestowed upon me once more, I intend to honor it by supporting the youths whose futures are so bright, and also to keep them safe from venomous fiends like these unwanted guests of yours. But so, what a shame. And after we came all this way to give you a job, and a little souvenir from your reporter friend. Knew that'd reel you in. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Do excuse us.
Oh, you recognized me after all? <laughs> nice to finally meet you all, ladies and gentlemen of Arkride Solutions. Oh, now there's a face I never thought I'd see again. Oh, neither did I. Tell me, what's a dead man doing out of his coffin? No need to give us the death glare, you old fossil. We've traded many friendly blows in the past, haven't we? Why don't we bury the hatchet? Let's be like the Jaegers. Embrace yesterday's foe as today's friend. <laughs> He's got your number, dear. No one will ever reconcile with you. And for that, you've no one to blame but yourself. You're on thin ice. But your words are laced with the truth, venomous though they are. The name's Elroy Harwood. I'm the fourth Anguis. But you can just call me the Oathbreaker. Everyone does. I am Enforcer number three, Lucrezia Isoli. I'm delighted to make your acquaintance, Arkwright Solutions. Really now? Very well. I promise I won't smoke in here. Ooh, accidentally went and made an oath there. And I can't afford to keep those. I've got a reputation and a title to uphold, you see. Gotta break an oath or two from time to time. From time to time? <laughs> you break oaths and rules as easily as you breathe. <laughs> True. True. Anyway, on to business. I want you to go on a little trip for me. What? You're not up for it? Strange. I thought I heard you took work from anyone. You gotta be kidding me. Do I really gotta spell it out? It's cause you kids will make things way more fun. The society has already decided its course of action for this whole thing, and I'm leading the charge. Enforcer number three will be backing me up, and so will Enforcer number eight, who you already know so well. The goal is to round up the members of Almada and the Gardens, and murder every last one of them. Nope. Had they kept to their little dog and pony shows, we wouldn't lay a finger on them. Honestly. I rather enjoyed kicking back and watching them wreak havoc. But they've become a threat to our plans now, and we can't have that. If those little bugs want to punch above their weight, then we'll crush them beneath our feet. <laughs> Though no doubt it will be easier said than done. They're both troublesome and insidious, and some rather formidable guests will be joining their party. Everyone's got different aims here. Some want them brought to justice. Some want them dead and buried. Heiyue will surely be joining the fray, and I'll bet the Jaeger Corps will be after their bounty. 
I'm guessing Marduk HQ will be there too, yeah? All right. You got students in other parts of the church, not just the Grawls Ritter. Things are gonna get interesting then. Must be tough being a master. <laughs> I don't envy you. Regardless, that should serve as the basic overview of the situation. Almada and the gardens will not be the only sources of mischief in that city. One wrong move and the whole affair could turn into an indiscriminate bloodbath. So someone ought to keep an eye on the little guys, don't you think? You can use whatever justification you want. I don't really care why you join, just so long as you do. Because if you don't, this whole thing will be a snooze cruise from start to finish. I need you kiddos to prevent this battle from being too one-sided. The guild's the only one in this brawl that's going to be fighting for the common man. If we add you to the mix, however, it'll make for a more balanced blend. A recipe that's made for chaos. Oh. And should you happen to run into us, I'd like you to come at me knives out and ready to cut me into a million little pieces. I'm very much into that sort of thing. Huh. Well, it isn't a close one, if that's what you're wondering. We haven't exactly been keeping in touch as of late. But your hunch is on point. We do have a connection with the gardens. You see, the two of us were once part of the Order of the Moonlight Horse, an organization of assassins. Fourteen years ago, Ouroboros destroyed the Order, but they extended a hand to the two of us and brought us into the fold. Although they did not do the same for many of its other members, the Society is a small group of elites, and they only accept the best and brightest. Fortune had not abandoned them, however. Shortly after, another villainous group was nearly wiped out in a major operation. My companion here herded the lost sheep of both groups and let them form their own flock. Huh. Has it already been 14 years? <laughs> Time sure flies when you're having fun. And the society has offered me a wealth of entertainment. It's exactly as you think. The DG cult. You know the ones. The devil worshippers that spread chaos across the Republic and the continent as a whole. I brought the remnants of the Moonlight Horse and the DG cult together and set them loose on the world. That's how the gardens were created. They find seeds that are scattered by the wind and grow them into fresh assassins that are ripe for the picking. Had I left them alone, the founding members would have rotted away and their budding talent would have died on the vine. But by mixing the leftovers of the cult and the order, I created a chemical reaction more potent than my wildest imagination could have conjured. I gave that one domino a little push, and look at all the tragedies and pain that befell the world 
<laughs> Can't say you're wrong. My colleagues, like the Wellspring Alchemist and the Professor, never go far enough for my tastes. But that's humanity for you. No one's the same. We've all got our own desires that make us tick. You do not need to think of it as helping us. You may instead think of it as entering a mutually beneficial relationship, where our goal is simply to use one another for our own ends. I can take charge of laying the groundwork for the requests you'll get at the city. Those will keep you plenty busy. I'll even throw in a couple that'll give you a real thrill. My, my. They really don't trust you, do they? Anyway, sounds like we have ourselves a deal. Oh, almost forgot the other reason I came to this little office. Here's that souvenir I mentioned earlier. If you're worried about radiation, don't be. The professor, our technical expert, looked into the matter, and he found no traces of it whatsoever. The three disciples are probably racking their brains about that mystery this very moment. Guess we'll be off. We wouldn't want to overstay our welcome now, would we? I can hardly wait to see how you and those relics of yours will liven things up. <laughs> Why don't you ask the defanged lion? I've done enough talking for one day. Well then, have a lovely rest of your day. Done flapping your gums yet? Good, because I stopped listening when I heard the words, it's too dangerous. I appreciate that you're worried about us. I really do. However... We all have our reasons for wanting to go along with you. Mine is to ensure the nuclear devices can never again be used for malicious means. Marduk considers this crisis to be a matter of grave concern, so it is only logical that I also accompany you. You said it yourself. I'm not even a part-timer here to begin with, which means you can't order me around. I'm a phantom thief, 
So I'm gonna steal this show whether you like it or not. I haven't been stealing my nerves all this time for nothing. I'm not letting anything get between me and my sweet, sweet revenge. Even if you fire me, I'll just hitch a ride with Heiyue instead. And I'd try to join up with the warriors of Kruga. I would really rather go with everyone here, though. I want to tackle this thing head on, the Spriggan way. Naturally, I would like to accompany you as well. Not just because of the Genesis, though I'll admit that is a factor. More importantly, I feel this conflict is born from the source of Calvert's turmoil. The distortions in the everyday world I know and the underworld. If my feeling is correct, then I want... No, must see this through to its conclusion. I recognize this may be a harrowing experience for me, but even so, I am determined to confront the harsh realities that lie in wait. So take me with you, Van. Please. On oh, yes. Wow. Hmm. I know, and I do feel guilty about it. Still, I have a plan in mind, so don't worry. I, I wasn't planning on going that far. <laughs> wow, Van's right. He really is a bad influence on you. <laughs> okay then, now that we've got all that squared away, Mind sharing the location of the base? Right. We need to know where they are so we can kick their sorry butts. Hmm. <laughs> Very well, then. The base of operations is located in the third largest city in the Republic, as well as its oldest. It is also the place where the terrorists of Calvert get much of their funding. The old city capital, Rassian. That is where they have set the stage for their carnival of chaos. Truly well done. There, God Zeman. I may have lost my life once, but that alone would never be enough to stop me. <laughs>